Hello and welcome to Maths with Jay. So what we're looking at here is the log to base 2 of 32. So what we're looking for here is the power that we have to raise 2 to to get 32 because remember that logarithms are powers. So we're thinking about the number 2 and what power we have to raise it to to get an answer of 32. Well you know that 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32. In other words 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So that means that log to base 2 of 32 is 5. So let's just check this out on a calculator. So we're using the log button in the top right hand corner. So we can choose what base we want. So we want base 2. So we put that in. And then to get our number in, we use the right arrow on the replay button. And then we key in 32. And then equals. So that's the right answer. And now let's look at another one. So log to base 5 of 125. So again, we're thinking about 5 to the power of something is 125. So we're thinking how many times do we need to multiply 5 by itself to get 125? Well, 5 5 is 25. Multiply by 5 again and we get 125. So that's going to be 5 to the power of 3. So our log is going to be 3. And another one. Let's have a log to base 7 this time. So log to base 7 of 49. So we're thinking about 7 to the power of something is 49. Well, that's just 7 squared. So we've got a power of 2. So a log, which is the power, is 2. And let's have a look at a log to base 3. And we'll have 81. So now we're thinking 3 to the power of something or other is 81. Well, we know that 9 squared is 81 and 3 squared is 9. So we're squaring 3 and then squaring again. So we're raising it to the power of 4. So the log to base 3 of 81 is 4. So far, we've only been looking at whole numbers. What we're going to do now is have a look at uh, a fraction and then we'll go on and look at a decimal and a root. So we can look at logs of decimals and fractions as well as whole numbers. So let's have a look at log to base 4 of a sixteenth. So what we're thinking of here is 4 to the power of something or other is equal to a sixteenth. So what we're going to do is just leave a space there because it's easier to do this in two stages and think about 4 to the power of something is 16. And what we can say here is 16 is 4 squared and then it's easier to see how we can write 1 over 4 squared as 4 to the power of something. Well it's a reciprocal so we're just going to make that negative so 4 to the power of negative 2 is 1 over 4 squared. So the log to base 4 of a sixteenth is negative 2. So let's have a look at another similar one, log to base 2, and this time we'll write this as a decimal. Log to base 2 of 0.5. So we're trying to write this as 2 to the power of something is equal to 0.5. So let's again write this as a reciprocal first. So 0 0.5 is a half. So we haven't actually got a power there but if there isn't a power it means it's actually 1. So we've got 1 over 2 to the power of 1. So that means we've got 2 to the negative 1. So the log of 
0.5 in base 2 is negative 1 because 2 to the power of negative 1 is 0 0.5. So you can see that again we've got a negative answer. When we're finding the log of something less than 1 and something that's positive, then it gives us a negative power. Right, now let's look at a root. So we'll stay with base 2. And what we'll do here is we'll have the cube root of 2. So what we're looking at now is writing 2 to the power of something equivalent to the cube root of 2. So we're just really thinking of an alternative notation for writing the cube root of something. And hopefully you'll remember that it's a third. 2 to the power of a third is the cube root of 2. Similarly, we would have the square root of something would be a power of a half. So that means that we get our answer over here as a third. So the log to base 2 of the cube root of 2 is a third. Let's look at a log of... what should we have? Let's have a nice big base this time. Base 100. And we'll have a decimal. 0, 0, 0, 1. So 0 0.0001. So what we're doing here is saying, well, our base is 100. So we've got to think 100 to the power of something is equal to 0 0.0001. So let's just think about what that is as a fraction. It will be easier to think about. It's 10 thousandth, isn't it? And then we want to write that as... 1 over 100 to the power of something, and 100 squared is 10,000, so it's another negative power. So 100 to the power of negative 2 is going to be 0 0.0001. So that means our power, our index, is negative 2. And let's look at one more on this page. And this time we'll have log to base 17, and we'll have log to base 17 of 1. So what we're thinking of here is 17 to the power of something is equal to 1. And that is going to be 0. Anything to the power of 0, or more or less anything to the power of 0, is 1. So in other words, log to base 17 of 1 is equal to 0. So here we've looked at logs to lots of different bases, what we're going to do next is have a look at a very special case where we've got log to base 10. So here we're looking at log to base 10 and we'll look at the log to base 10 of 1000. So we're thinking about 10 to the power of something is equal to 1000. So that's 10 cubed, which means that the log to base 10 of 1000 is equal to 3. Now the thing is about this, we don't actually have to write the 10 when we're working in base 10. If I had written log of 1000, that would mean exactly the same thing. And there are a lot of calculators that will have a log button on them, and you can do this on the calculator. So let's just try this out and see how that works. So this time we're looking for the log button that simply says log on it and nothing else. So that's this one. And we want to find the log of a thousand. So we simply key in a thousand. And then because we're not doing anything else, we can simply do equals. But we could put the close bracket in as well if we wanted to. But because I'm not following it by any other calculation or any other number, I can just key it in like that and get the correct answer. So log to base 10 of 1000 is 3. So that one is also 3. So let's do a few more in base 10. So log base 10 of 100. 
So there we haven't written the base, but because I haven't, we know that it's 10, and we know that 10 squared is equal to 100. So log of 100 is 2. And how about log of 10? Well, 10 to the power of 1 is equal to 10. So log of 10 is 1. And let's do a root. So if we've got log of the square root of 10, so we're looking at 10 to the power of something is the square root of 10. Well, that's going to be a power of a half. So log of root 10 is a half. So we've looked at logs to many different bases. If you want to try these out for yourself, you could try writing down some statements like we've got on the right hand side of the page and then working out how to write them down as a log statement and try them out on your calculator.